Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Concepts YouTube channel. I am here to discuss with you an important ternary phase diagram of diopside, nephilim, and quartz. Also, I will discuss with you the concept of thermal divide and I will discuss with you an important question of IIT Jam 2019. So to understand the concept of thermal divide, we need to look at the basalt tetrahedron. I hope you all have seen this tetrahedron. This is a very important basalt tetrahedron in which we get to know of various type of basalts we might find based on the minerals or important minerals of basalt. So as we all know that nepheline and quartz does not occur in nature altogether and we have this albite or plagioclase dividing these two segments. Also we have olivine and clinopyroxene and together all these make three important sections of these basalt tetrahedron. One is the left side of this critical plane of silica under saturation, one is in between these two plane of saturations and one is the oversaturated or silica oversaturated region. But what we need to look at is this base of the basalt tetrahedron in which nepheline, olivine, quartz and plagioclase are placed as this. Why? Because this base is very important while dividing two important series or type of basalts we can say. One is the alkaline series and one is the subalkaline in which further we can divide calc alkaline and tholeotic series. But what we need to look at in this is that the olivine albite line or the close to this line exist a dividing line. This dividing line is actually dividing these two fields. One is entirely the alkaline field and one is the subalkaline field. Now, why it is dividing this? To understand this, we need to look at the cross section of this phase or we can say the phase diagram of nepheline, albite and quartz. When we plot these three in, the, in this phase diagram, we see a thermal divide. Now, what is a thermal divide? Thermal divide is a temperature maximum point. Okay? Remember, it's always a thermal, ma te thermal maximum or temperature maximum point. Why? Because it divides the two segments in such a manner that if your bulk composition falls in any of these reasons, regions, you cannot cross this point because it is the higher point. Whenever you try to crystallize or cool any melt falling either in albite quartz region or nepheline albite region, you will never cross this divide or this point. If your bulk composition is this in this albite quartz region, you will never find nepheline in the final rock. Similarly, if you have nepheline albite bulk composition, you will never find quartz in that rock. This is so obvious because we, we know nepheline and quartz does not occur in the nature together, right? Because if you cool down the rock or the magma in any of these re reasons, while cooling, you cannot cross this divide because it is at the higher temperature. You, you need to increase the temperature only to cross this divide, which you cannot do, okay? So, from this we know that what is a thermal divide and how do we define it. Now let us solve this question and see what we can apply or how we can apply our knowledge to. Okay? So this was asked in IIT Jam 2019 paper. This is an MSQ question so more than one might be correct. We have given this nepheline quartz diopside ternary phase diagram and we have been asked the correctness of these four statements. So we will try to look at each statement and try to answer this question. First statement says that the point 1 is the thermal minimum in the system. The point 1 lies on this albite diopside line. Now if I can see this point 1 and these two arrows, what these two arrows or these lines are representing? These lines are cotactic curves. If you have studied the phase diagrams, you will understand that cotactic curves are those curves which generally join the binary eutectics to the ternary eutectic. So these are cotactics and any rock or any magma crystallizing will of course hit one of these cotactic in the evolution of magma. So I can see that the liquid line of descent or the evolution of magma from this point one is in such a manner that both of these are going away from each other. Now just imagine this situation, this situation is something like this, your point 1 is here and you have the situation something like this by which you can see that both of these arrows or any magma falling on either side will proceed away from this point 1. Why? Because this is at a temperature higher than 
the adjacent ones okay so i can understand that this point 1 is definitely not not the thermal minimum rather it's a it's the thermal maximum point so point a or a statement a is incorrect now let us understand the second one it says the diopside albite joint acts as a thermal barrier in the system we have just defined it because this point 1 is also lying on this diopside albite line i can very well say that yes this line acts as a thermal barrier what we have discussed just now in the previous slide so this option is correct point 2 and 3 are ternary eutectics now as i have told you that all these cotactics are joining the u binary eutectic to the ternary eutectic and also you can see that this evolution path from every cotactic or from every binary eutectic you can see that all these liquids are converging at point 2 and point 3 why because these are the thermal minimum points and if you know eutectic in even binary or ternary system is always a thermal minimum point where all the liquid is ultimately crystallized at the eutectic point because it's the minimum thermal minimum point of any system so yes it, it is correct that point 2 and 3 are ternary eutectics now last option is melt of composition x this is the composition x will give rise to a rock containing nepheline and albite this option is correct because any rock falling in this triangle of nepheline albite and diopside will definitely have these three minerals and the one which is falling in albite quartz diopside will never have nepheline but this statement is only partially correct because it is saying nepheline plus albite but it should also be diopside so although the organizing committee have considered it as the correct answer but i don't think it should be correct the correct answer should be bombay and calcutta that is b and c but examiner has given in the answer key in in the final one as well as b c d okay but you understand the concept that only saying that nephilim albite is not sufficient because likewise i would have said that x will have diopside only diopside but that's not true it will have nephilim albite and diopside but yes not quartz okay so this was it i hope this made uh, a thing clear to you you understood about the thermal divide so if you have liked it you just share it with your friends and also let me know in the comment box below that if you want to discuss something in particular or some question that has been asked previously i can discuss that with you lastly i would like to share it with you that we have started our online classes of iit jam you can register for the free demo we have uh, attached the link of the form google form in the description below you can also contact us on this number and just fill the form we will contact you back and we will let you join the free demo classes so i hope you like the video subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to youtube channel thank you have a nice day